Now we're going to mount several different types of horn mounts. The two top ones we actually do, I kind of explain the bottom one. Now I'm going to just right about in between the front of the antler burr and the, the eye socket, about halfway. I went down so far with my uh, hacksaw blade. And then uh, about where the point of the school is, I come in from the back. That's a pretty good looking pitch, but I think it's a little bit high. I mean, I think it's a little bit, a little bit too far forward. Yeah, it's a little bit high. So I'm going to cut some of this off to make it where it's uh, not so much like this, maybe a little bit more like this. And not so bulky right in here by cutting some of the back off. Yeah, I kind of like uh, just eyeballing. Yeah, about like that. So basically what I do is uh, kind of even it and uh, take some of this stuff off. I'm trying to cut as even as possible just eyeballing it. I may still have to do some wedging on the side. But... You can see I'm kind of cutting it. There's the angle that I'm cutting it at. You can see the angle. Pretty good. That's how it's going to sit right there. I don't think I cut too much off. Let me just get all the borax off that you put on it. Yeah, when I hang them up in the rafters, I always usually like to get all the meat off. Now I hang it up in the rafters. Go on a two by four. Get all this borax off. Okay, I'm gonna cut a little bit off the back of this here. You don't have to, but I think I will on this one. It looks like it'll clear it, but I might be able to just put it off. What I also did was I kind of eyeballed it. And I kind of evened it up. Pretty much evened it up where I thought it was going to look pretty good. Got it right in here. And I went ahead and put a Kind of just a small lock pencil lead mark for about the center of the burr, just kind of estimating. And doing it on both sides. Just from about the center of the burr and taking it all the way down. Just a lot of pencil mark that can be erased. Kind of eyeball it from the side, see how far I gotta go up. If I wanted to get technical with it, I could even measure it really. You know, like the length, but to the bottom of the burr probably would be best. I'd say probably about three fourths. So I could probably go up about. Usually don't need to do this, just eyeball everything. So about right here, I'll do the same thing to the other side. Do the same thing on the other side, go up about, uh, I don't know, about three quarters of an inch. Put 
put another mark. I've got this. And I'll just cut up. This is supposed to be almost inconspicuous right from the bottom. So I went up about three fourths. And the same thing on the other side. about three-fourths and from here I'm gonna let the burrs uh, help decide for you how big you want to make the holes try to even the hole on both sides about the same amount and then we put the braid around the antler burrs that's gonna allow for a little bit of error so that's a good thing Oh yeah, that hole's gonna have to be a whole lot bigger. You basically cut it to fit. Keep retrying, trial fitting. Tries to buckle a little bit. I think that looks really good. Let's see, let me do the other side now. Same thing on this side. The good thing is, it's flimsy rubber, so it gives you a little bit of freedom. Maybe help it where it'll fit better if I put some small incisions in here. See what it fits like. Okay, what do we got to take off here? Looks like a little bit more off this inside part right here. following my pencil marks. I'd rather be slow with it and not take too much off at once if that makes any sense. Let's see what we got now. I guess we could go ahead and put sheet screws through. Oh yeah. I can almost almost work with that. In fact, I can. Here's all I gotta do. There's some excess. Excess there. Excess here. Oh. This can come off right here. I 
a little bit more on this side can come off. And what I want to do is put this on and kind of eyeball where I want to put it on the on the panel. So that's why I'm doing it like this. So here's what we got. Oh yeah, that's a good fit. Good fit. Good fit on that side. Perfect, this will work. Okay. I kind of want to center like how I think it's going to be. So here's what we got right here like this. It's not an exact fit, but we can work with it. I want it too high or too low. Now you want to drill at least uh, at least two, maybe three even. Holes through the school so it will bolt onto the panel. You can see I drilled three holes, two right here and one there. That'll that extra hole it's not gonna wobble, it's gonna be stationary. Okay, I've got my holes already drilled, of course. Now what I want to kind of do That's around there, that's around there. I want to center it where it looks really neat. I guess a name tag can make a difference as far as where you put it, of course. About how it's going to center. You want this bottom part to be centered right. You know, you want to, you don't want it lopsided sideways and all that junk. About right there. And I've got another advantage for that small screw. You know, that goes in the back. It can be my pivot so I can uh, adjust. See now, heck we can, if we so desire, move it a little bit. Eyeball it, see if it's even. That looks pretty even to me. Then you just shoot your other two screws in. See how it fits. Oh yeah, it looks pretty good. It looks pretty darn good. Oh, perfect. So that's right in the center of this. Centered real good, looks really nice. I'll do the front one or the top one. I mean, you get these upholstery nails if you get a Walmart or a taxidermy supply company. Kind of push them, get them started. So 
Can you get to it better? There you are, there's one. This is, I guess they call it buckskin, but it's not like really buckskin like the old taxidermists used to do. Then I'll put another one right here. Sometimes you can kind of Yeah, about right there. There you are. Well, you, there's something else that goes around here. And I gotta put a hanger on the back. Yeah, sometimes a little braid around these sides right here is a welcome addition. A lot of people like it just like that, and I don't blame them. But I'll show you how we put some uh, some braided line around through there, which really adds to it. What I got is, I don't have the color I like, but <clears throat> this will work just for, I guess, just show y'all how I do them, or one of the ways. This is a, well, what do they call it? Suede cord. And it's just leather uh, string. I like it a little bit thicker, almost like what you would use for shoelaces. But what I'll do is I want to cut three, three equal parts. Should be enough. Well, this looks like gray, I guess you could call it. Should be long enough for two of those. <clears throat> what I like to do, I like to just uh, get three equal parts of this. I hope my staple gun is working. Yeah. A little handheld one that's even better than this. Sometimes they use glue for this stuff too. It makes a lot. We got it. Got my staple gun staple through there a couple of times. There we are. Same way you exact same way you make a braided necklace. They got a four strand, five strand. But this is the three strand. Make sure everything's good and straight. Okay, then you come up from underneath. Then you go to the right side and come up underneath in the middle. Then you go to the left, come up underneath in the middle. Then you go to the right side, come up underneath in the middle. Then you go to the left, come up underneath, go up in the middle. So you're coming up from the middle, left and right. Go to the right, coming up underneath in the middle. I noticed it helps not to let it bend in any way, shape, form, or fashion. Basically, uh, it, the right came up underneath from in the middle. Okay, then uh, left comes up underneath in the middle. Then the right comes up underneath in the middle. And uh, yeah, it really looks good if you if you just don't let it, if you, if you, if you keep it flat. 
and don't let it bend around and all that junk. You just keep going the right underneath up from the middle and then to the left up underneath in the middle. For what we're doing, yeah, it'd be easier just to pop a staple in it about right here. Now this is going to go around our antler burrs. Okay, I went ahead and cut those staples off. And these ends are super glued. So they, they should be good to go. Super glue is my favorite for this kind of stuff. Okay, then we, uh, like the, the furthest most place where you know it's not going to be too noticeable. Is where I like to put my braid. I like it to tuck up in there though. And if it'll go up, kind of like up under the burr a little bit, oh, that's great. You don't want no deformity or anything with it, but uh, yeah, it just goes. It just kind of snug, not too tight. And right here is where I'll cut it off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and super glue this again so it don't come apart. And this is just enough for the other side, looks like. Yeah, pretty much what you do with this, you just, uh, you know, the farthest, lowest point and back, like right there. And then I just come around. If you can lock up under the burr, that's cool. But you don't want it completely, you know, covered by the burr, but you want it up against it. And you just get it like this and get you a little bit of a tucking tool or screwdriver or something. And let it kind of tuck up in there. Kind of or lock in. You can even glue it. You know, glue both ends together. And that works out pretty good too. And of course, somebody's going to, what they're going to see, they're going to see this side right here. But they're going to see right here. The same to the other side. Now this is one way that you that a lot of people like to mount it. You can order these through the taxidermy supply shop. Now this one has a built-in hanger. Well, what it is, it uh, allows for the head to kind of slide up in there supposedly. But you can also put a mirror hanger on. Mirror hangers are easy. Um, hinge hanger, I mean. Or you can use like picture hangers. They all work. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna show you another way. So I'm gonna pop this up. Hate doing it, but uh, still gonna be reusable. So it's not like gonna hurt anything really per se. So that helps. Now we're going to use one of these. I have a feeling I'm going to keep this on. Me personally, I like using these better. I just the dark contrast with the bright gold. I don't have any bright gold, but I got like just the regular gold. I don't have like the yellow one. Uh, these these have already got places made up for you, I, I, which is even kind of I guess easier you could say. There may be slightly more room for air because you got more of these going in. You got 
you got to put a, a upholstery screw or upholstery nail for each one of these points, but it really looks nice. Here again, I want to go up about three quarters of an inch. See, the good thing about the braided line, the braid always makes it for, uh, you know, like any bad spots you may have done. Or like if you cut too much plastic off, it'll make up for it. So that helps. Same thing to this side. See, these are already made for like antlers being able to pop through, so that helps. And I don't cut all that stuff off. I, I'll leave a little bit of it if I can. Fit, see what's going on here. So you go like this, that's simple. See if it fits, it may not even fit. So we got going on here. Okay, that goes back like that. Uh, not even close. Well, close, but not really. Okay. I don't know what the issue is. Simple enough. Just need to cut more up top here. That's pretty darn close. That's what you do, you just keep trial fitting. Seem to fit okay up front. Kind of like that. It almost fits on this side anyway. I'll take a little bit off just to make things a little easier. start at the top ones to get my brads
Do you do that? I want to push everything together like I want it and put another one down here. And I, I center it as good as I can. I mean, not, not only... I'm centering this point with the point on the plaque. But I make sure my spacing is pretty well centered. I want to make sure it all comes together real good, and it does. So I may focus the next one maybe like right here on this one. Kind of keep everything fitted right. I said, eyeballing it's usually good enough. You just kind of center the, you want to center where you put that nail. You don't want to put it too far in or too far out. So you'll be able just to center it real good. Don't have pound it in too hard. Okay, what I'm doing is uh, I'm going to go ahead and take the rack off for just a second. Take this out for just a second. The reason being. Can't get to these back ones right here. These, these back here. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop them in while I can. But that'll work. Basically, we just. I mean, we already know where everything goes anyway now. So hard parts over with. Have nothing to get them at Walmart. You can get a whole box of them, a little bit of nothing. Okay. I pulled these bottom ones back out, but I remember where the holes went. There we go on that side. Push all that stuff in as you go down. Here we are. I'm going to line my little nail holes up again. There's the fat one. That's the front one. That one. Let's see this one. Want them holes to match up, so there we are. I think they do. What I want to do, I just, well, it's the same thing as before. I'm going to go just around and then maybe be able to tuck it up under their antler burr. And so you make a little place where you can hack it off. Like that. I'm going to put a little bit of tape around there. Basically like how they done it from the factory, a little bit of scotch tape. Heck, even this will work if you don't have scotch tape on hand. I got some, but... So 
save this one for later. And just uh, yeah, wrap it around the end so it don't unravel on you. There you are. It's black anyway. You do it like that. Same thing here. Get your screwdriver again, kind of tuck it a little right there. You can get it to tuck up on an antler burr a little bit, that's great. It really looks good that way. There you are right there. Just kind of tuck it up under there. You just bring it on around. I even have a little excess, looks like. But that's okay. Well, that's kind of what I got. This is how I like this one right here. It's my favorite. And this has just got a, uh, it's like a place where the screw head goes in and it kind of locks up in there where it don't come out. And it seems to work pretty good. Or you can use any kind of hanger that's out there, really. Okay, here's the third, uh, I guess, most common kind. And basically what you do just like before, you, just like on the other two, you know how you cut the antler, antlers off the school? Same thing. Then you make out your uh, whole little shape that looks real nice, cut it out, put your antlers on it, do just like you would on a plaque. Use a uh, paper mache, cover it over real good. In this case, this is buckskin, but felt works real good. Uh, black felt is what I remember using the most. Basically what you do, you put it on there like this and bolt it straight to the plywood. The, the antlers, you know, you put your holes two or three just like we did on the other two. Bolt it down to there and then uh, once it's bolted you start building up yeah, just a nice fancy looking uh, you know, thing that goes over the school. You know, it still goes under the burrs, but it, it looks, and it's mache. Then you let it dry until all the moisture's out of it. Then you've got your, uh, you know, you've got your uh, plywood underneath. Well, you stretch it around the plywood, and then you tack it in from the back or stake it or whatever you use. You can either put a hanger on it and just hang it straight on the wall or put it on another plaque. And then that, that's how you do it. That's a nice looking deer. And of course, this looks like more buckskin right here, but you can do the braids. The braids look real good on this stuff too. It goes right up under there. So that's how you do the three horn mounts. They're the three most common ones. And then of course you got a European horn mount, which is a whole different puppy.